Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Blankety Blank, The Chase, and Gladiators host Bradley Walsh was adding at least £25,000 per week to his personal fortune in 2023. Figures published on Companies House show that the beloved TV presenter and actor, 64, is one of the best-paid hosts on British TV. Bradley runs his company, Winget Production Limited, alongside Donna, his wife of 27 years, and the couple's accounts were up by a whopping £1.3 million in 2023. While the accounts don't reveal Bradley's exact take-home pay, £5 million was pumped into investments he has, such as stocks and shares and property. In two years, the value of Winget production has soared from an already impressive £14.5 million to almost £20 million, showing that Bradley and Donna are running at tight ship. The TV favorite's happy money news is no surprise, with the former Coronation Street actor holding down several major presenting jobs at once right now. He still has Bradley Walsh's son, Breaking Dad on the Go, with a sixth season of the father-son travel documentary series currently in the works, which he co-hosts with his son Barney. Meanwhile, everything is in place for him to continue as the host of Blankety Blank, which puts him alongside TV royalty such as Sir Terry Wogan, Paul O'Grady, and Les Dawson. Over on ITV, he's still taping episodes of The Chase and Beat the Chasers, with the long-running quiz show now currently in its 15th year and just as popular as ever. His BBC commitments don't end with Blankety Blank either, with the revival of Gladiators proving to be another hit for Bradley and his son Barney. In 2023, it was worked out that Bradley might well be the richest presenter on British TV, with his fortune apparently standing at £18.6 million. Bradley really is at the top of his game right now and is raking it in, a TV source told the Daily Mail following the release of the figures in July last year. He's firmly established himself at the top of his profession and is the go-to man for both the BBC and ITV. And that shows no signs of slowing down either, as viewers can't get enough of him. It all could have been very different for Bradley once upon a time, with the actor and presenter having tried to make it as a professional football player in the 1970s and 1980s. 23 iconic soap stars you didn't know were related in real life. Soap star and groundbreaking model dies aged 80. The tragic case of the missing woman found dead under her bathtub. Emmerdale confirms major Kim Tate event, which will absolutely thrill fans. However, in the 1990s he turned to TV, when ITV offered him the role of presenter on game show Midas Touch, in a decision that has definitely paid off. The news of Bradley's impressive finances comes off the back of Great British Bake Off host Paul Hollywood producing his own eye-watering figures, with a personal fortune of £14 million in 2023 alone. What I own, we saved for 10 years to buy our first home in West Sussex for £415,000. Man fixing up a rundown house finds swimming pool worth £120,000 hidden in the garden. The hidden Cotswolds of London is just 40 minutes from the centre. What I own, we bought a two-bedroom ex-council property in Hackney for £400,000. We got gazandered and lost thousands of pounds when selling our home. Broken down to a weekly amount, it's estimated that Paul is bringing in over £270,000 per week, with his TV hosting salary matching that of top footballers. More, 90s TV legend has career overhaul as he gets ordained as a vicar. More, fans can't quite accept that Glenn Close and EastEnders legend are different people. More, when are EastEnders, Coronation Street and Emmerdale on TV during the Euros and Wimbledon?